Hello everyone, whomever joins or watch later. Welcome to all the new members. Now this is chanting for healing. I know lots of you are curious about chanting, so I invite you to jump on any live. Um, I do pop-up kirtans on my YouTube, The Chanting Queen. You can check it out. Just I'm inviting you to chant with me, to just catch the meditation, catch the mantra, and just go with it. Close your eyes and feel how it feels physically to activate our vocal cords, to use our voice, to deepen our stand in our truth. So I invite you to chant with me sometimes. If you want to support my work and and if you want to really experience a 60 minute with a circle, everyone's mic and camera's off and you see me and you hear me and you chant with me, but you feel the energy of the circle. Uh, I do this once a month and January is the 17th, Tuesday at 7 p.m. CST. Okay, so I wanted to guide you in a little bit of uh, meditation here. I have been needing grounding. I just had last night an amazing distance Reiki session and it uncovered a few things that I'm going to have to look deeper into, uh, such as life. And there's been called for grounding, more grounding, stepping into our root chakra or connection to standing still connection to go within and be with ourselves, you know, be with yourself without the distraction, without the technology, without the movie, uh, without anyone else, just be with yourself. And that's what you can do when you chant, right? When you chant with me or when you catch a chanting and you chant along with me, um, you can really deepen that benefit of the practice. I dare you to, to try. Also, I am working on my new website and I'm also uh, working on a freebie, a free offering that will start at the end of January that I'll be launching soon as soon as I figure out all the technicality. Um, I'm gonna have a sign an email list and I'll be able to send everything by email now. I'm getting there guys. It's a big blockage for me and technology. Okay, so let's pick a card for the collective for our little grounding meditation that I'll be starting right away. Let's see who's there to help for a pious good El Moira, Moria, Awakening Presence. Here you go. Here's confirmation. We need to work on our grounding. To be present. To have a practice. You need a practice. You need an intentional practice. We know that. We need that. We need to have to balance ourselves. Otherwise, we're in fight or flight mode. Parasympathetic, sympathetic nervous system off the roof. No balance. Uh, prone, a lower immune system, prone to more being more sick, a throat, right? Lots of throat stuff coming up. So very important. The universe is with you. Wear a claw, cloak of protection and love. Oh, that's, I like that. Cloak of protection. Like, set your standards into how you want to live your life, who you want to attract, who you want to keep, how much time you want to waste or not. Right? Like, it's all that protection, that standards that you put yourself into, that you, it's not like barriers or blockages. It's more like, no, these are, this is my standard and this is what I am putting outside, so this is what I'm attracting. El Moi Moria. El Moria is a spiritual name that was given to protect the identity of Ranbir Singh, a spiritually 
uh, where man born into a powerful family that ruled Kashmir, a region in the Indian subcontinent in the 19th century. It is said that he interceded both spiritually and physically to stop the British invasion of the region in 1845. This wise soul is now able to help us remove any energy from our life that is not serving our connection to God. He is a wonderful guide to call on if we are unsure if something is real or not. He helps awaken our I am presence, which is our truest connection to our soul and to the universe itself. So this is asking us to really step into ourself and maybe go into our past or past lives or to clear stuff that has happened that we do not need to hold. We do not need to have. So we release that. Right? So thank you for this guidance card. I'm going to use my Tibetan singing bowl, which is in the note of C. I think it might be, I don't think, I don't know if it's 432 or 440. I would have to check. Hello, Terry. Hi. <laughs> Few people popped in and out and that's okay. Um, if this is not what resonates, you only take what resonates, right? So. I invite you to close your eyes and find a comfortable seating position. And first we're going to feel all the discomfort of our body. Let's pay attention to the throat, the neck. Maybe you even want to give yourself a little jaw massage. That's where I hold lots of stress. But I know how to release it, right? That's the thing. It's like all these emotions and feelings still exist. You can't just like refuse anger in your life. Well, you can, but <laughs> you gotta get there. You know, like you just have to go through your emotions and feel them. And find that those ways to move through them. So if you want to use some crystals, maybe I'll use my lapis lazuli to massage. It's a great empowering stone for the throat chakra. I have some green stones here, hedonite, and what's the tough one again? Um, I can't remember right now. Kunzite. Like great love, love stone of the heart. So whatever resonates with you, make you move your neck a little bit, keep the stone, the crystal on you. Put your hands down if you need to protect yourself or up if you want to soak up some energy. There's different mudras as well you can do with your fingers. Maybe I'll do a live and explain those in the future. You can also hold yourself with your hands wherever the, those feels like you want to put them. I like to put them above the navel, solar plexus chakra, and on the heart space. So when you breathe in, I want you to connect deeper your roots to the ground. If you hear your dogs eating bones in the background, you try not to get too distracted. Just clearing your thoughts, not letting them control you is a good start. Just focusing on the breath. Deep breaths fills all of the body. Through the yoni or in the bottom of your buttocks, <laughs> your sit bones. And the scrotum for the men. Exhale, 
start to really plant those roots down. Think about your breath as fire breath, the heat that you bring to your body, to the lower part of your body. Grounding into Mama Gaya. You need to move your neck. You feel some tension. You want a massage. Maybe you want to use an essential oil roller. This one is uh, one made by my dear sister, Gypsy Mama in Regina. She made amazing Reiki blends really intuitively. And this one is good for the heart chakra. I would breathe it in, put it on my body, massage the places that are tensed. Hi, Daniel. Join this meditation. Deep breath in and out. Each exhale, you lengthen the roots deeper and deeper in Mama Gaia and Mother Earth. Feel the richness, the cold, humid dirt, the life underneath the surface light in the darkness underneath. You need to move your hips. Sometimes it can be hard to just stay still. That's why I love chanting actually. <laughs> It's a way to stay still, but still be in an active meditation. So if you want to join your hands to your heart in a prayer position, maybe you want to warm up. And you're going to take all that power and source and light and fire and heat that you're emanating for your whole, from your whole being around you and you're gonna bring it in. Put your hands up, just bring it in. Help you ground. Thank you for joining me in this guided meditation that you decided to join in, took the time live or in replay. Those few minutes are important. There's lots and lots of good resources on, on uh, YouTube. I do often guided meditation. It helps me start the day 
or when I feel a little bit all over the place or if I'm anxious because I still am sometimes. It is my responsibility to deal with it, not to bring it to my son or to my friends. Or... So I have to do the work. There you go. Anybody still there? Still here? Would like a card before I say goodbye? Uh, I'm so glad you got a singing bowl for Christmas. Jackie, that's awesome. What did I miss? Terry, you're still there? Sheila? Daniel? If you do want a card, let me know. Otherwise, I might just pick another one. Okay, Terry, here you go. From the Keepers of the Light. Entering Terry's. What do your guides have for you as a message? Holy Amethyst, Divine Alchemy. Move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. Well, that's a good one. Let's see what. So maybe you have some um, possible things that are getting in the way from you to really follow your heart, follow what you want to do, and uh, you need to remove those challenges. Hi, Leah. Holy Amethyst is the twin flame of Archangel Z Zadkiel. The angel who helps us transmute negative experiences into love and learning. He is the keeper of the violet flame. Oh, I did a violet flame meditation a couple days ago. It helped me so much. Which helps us release anything that is no longer serving us. Holy amethyst also enables us to look over our past fears and challenges and draw wisdom and learning from them. Beautiful card for you, Terry. Okay, what's the name of your daughter? Kristen, okay. I will pull one for Kristen for sure. So I don't know if it resonates with you. Um, Terry, uh, maybe there's challenges that are getting in the way for you to really follow your heart and what you desire. It's time to release them. So do some violent flame meditation. You can find them all over YouTube. I like Steve Noble's one. There's another one I like to use. I could send you the link. Uh, I love her accent, the way she pronounced some words. I love it. And she's got such an uplifting voice. Uh, if I feel more like a female voice, I might use her. Otherwise, um, yeah, I'll use Steve Nobles. Yeah, you're next, Jackie. So this one is for Kristen. What do the guides have for you, Kristen? Paul the Venetian, experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. That's for Kristen. Paul the Venetian, Venetian? Venetian is said to be the ascendant form of Paolo Veronese, a famous artist of the Italian Renaissance. The Venetian refers to the fact that he was connected to Venice, Italy. It is believed that on his passing in 1588, he had the opportunity to help humanity by sharing his lifelong wisdom. He is the keeper of the light who helps us accept our talents and hone our skills so that we can share the beauty of our soul with the world. So once again, is there something in the way from you sharing your beauty and your gifts, Kristen? Maybe you need to journal on that or violent flame meditation. Think about it. Is, is, is there something that is in the way for you to, to gift, to use your gifts with the world? Are you using your gifts? Okay, Jackie. Quick card for you, Jackie. 
the Miriam sacred vision. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. I just ordered a few new decks and a new tarot deck because mine didn't resonate anymore. I was um, studying tarot the other day and it was just not, I was not feeling my cards at all. Time to buy another one. And there was one on sale that my friend Daniel is using that I actually love. So I decided to get it. The Miriam, which means the beloved, are twin flame angels who come as one. They are mirror images of each other. They are the angels who appear to Mary Magdalene in the thumb of Jesus after his passing. These angels spoke directly to Mary and helped her move beyond her grief so that she was able to commune with Jesus once more. They can help us move beyond the cloud of grief too. They heal grievances of all kinds, including ones that have been created by religion or the idea that God does not love or accept us because of a mistake we once made. The Miriam help us remember that we don't need to ask God for forgiveness because he never condemned us in the first place. There you go. So a lot to do with is healing the inner child I'm feeling and just healing our own um, just accepting who we are with like it's very sacral chakra uh, card you know accepting all that we've done who we are now where we are on our journey all faces and aspects that are of ourselves like wholeheartedly unconditionally self loving ourselves and our mistakes and our lessons right okay that is it for today I'm so glad I'm done before my son is done his TV show so you can't start another one. <laughs> oh, thank you for joining me. Let me know how you felt in the comments after the guided meditation. If it helped you find some grounding, don't forget January 17th is the online chanting circle. 60 plus minutes of <coughs> chanting together. It's only $11 if you want to register. And it helps me continue to offer... Um, different pop-up care times on my YouTube so continue to it's it's an ex energy exchange right to help me continue to give to to co the community so uh, you're more than welcome Terry uh, and I hope that it was good guidance for you and I wish you a beautiful day everyone